If you guys have seen this logo on the back of your shirts, C5C, you guys have had some of the words on the back of your t-shirts. Have you paid attention to what some of those words might be? C5C is Category 5 culture. It's what we live out every day in the Iowa State men's basketball program. Gratitude, enthusiasm, toughness, unity, integrity. That's C5C, that's who we are at Iowa State. All right, something we want to introduce here uh, before we get going. So a lot of people talk about, like, what are your goals for your team? What are your goals? What are you aspiring to do? And even when we came here, we all started, what did you guys all say when you came in the huddle? Big 12 champs. Big 12 champs, right? So for me, I've never been somebody, it's not that I don't believe in goals, I believe that you look at your work habits on a daily basis and then good things come to those that have those work habits on a daily basis. I also think it's important to define what are important work habits and maybe even core values are pillars of your program. So for us, if you guys have seen this logo on the back of your shirts, C5C, you guys have had some of the words on the back of your t-shirts. Have you paid attention to what some of those words might be? Go ahead, what do we got? Integrity. Integrity. My, my definition of integrity is what do you do when nobody else is watching? How do you hold yourself accountable? What level do you hold yourself accountable to when nobody else is watching, okay? What's another one? Unity. Unity. Talk to me, talk to me about unity. Togetherness, brotherhood, everybody just coming together in like one head, one goal. Absolutely. You know who's really stood out to me recently with Unity? Has been Trey Jackson. You want to know why? He celebrates his teammates when they do something well, right? So things go well for those guys. When you celebrate your teammates, things go well. So what is celebrating? Man, great screen, awesome extra pass, big time rebound, way to hit the boards, way to run the floor. All those things. And so to me, I noticed it with Trey, and it's crazy. His shots are falling, the ball's coming his way, things seem to go your way when you celebrate your teammates. That unity is extremely important, okay? What are the three others? Zay, what you got? Enthusiasm. Glad you said enthusiasm, because I feel like you bring great enthusiasm every day, but talk to me. Uh, just bringing energy, uh, you know, being loud, talking, and just making sure that you approach everything with uh, positive mindset. And I love how you approach every day because your energy is contagious out there. I appreciate your attitude and effort and how you go about things every day because you bring that spirit. You've got a toughness to it, a mindset to it, but you've also kind of got that smile having fun playing, which has impacted our program in a really positive way. All right, we got two more. Toughness. Toughness. Talk to me. Uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of different things, you know, playing hard, but also, you know, not letting little things uh, distract you from the bigger picture, um, doing everything consistent on a daily basis. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some, but in both situations, you got to learn from it. Very smart answer. Like, to me, toughness is doing the right thing at the right time. Sometimes people think toughness is, you know, I can beat you up, but toughness is doing the right thing when the right when the time calls for it, right? It's it's being in the right spot. It's rim running if you need to rim run. It's making the extra pass. It's being in the right spot to rotate over. Toughness is, and you use this word too, it's consistency. K 
Can you do the same thing, the little things over and over every single day? Because that's what enacts greatness. It's not heroic play. I've heard it more and more in this NBA playoffs. When they mic up the coaches, they say it more and more. We don't need hero ball. We don't need guys trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. These are the best players in the world, right? Toughness, just keep that thing on the move. I thought as a team, we did a better job of doing that today. All right, there's one more. Blake? Gratitude. Gratitude. What is gratitude? What's gratitude mean to you, Tyrese? Being humble. Being humble. Okay, so how do you balance being humble and being confident? Um, I mean, I feel like that comes with the swagger, how you just feel about yourself. Yep. And I love the swagger that you bring, and I think there's a humility to it, too. Humility to me is always being willing to learn and grow. And one thing that impressed me about you when we talked, even about how to coach you, like, man, just give me the real stuff. I want, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I just want to get better. So keep, to me, that's very, that's very grateful. That's gratitude. That's humility. And we have this awesome opportunity to be here with each other each and every day and make this season whatever we choose for it to be. What you find out in life, that's a pretty awesome thing. Like that's pretty big time. When you look back on it, I know a lot of guys in here have aspirations of playing basketball after college and whatever you aspire to do professionally after that. Maybe you want to own your own company. Maybe you want to be in business. I don't know. But what I'll tell you is you'll look back on this and say, man, I wish I had these days back. Because I've coached a lot of the guys that have their picture on the wall. And I'm telling you, that's what they talk about. Regardless of how much money you make, it never is as much fun as this can be. We have the gratitude to be in this year together. Everyone in this room, and we need all of us to be at our best each and every day. If you let somebody else slide on doing something they need to do that's best for our program, then you're allowing our program to be compromised, and that's not gonna happen. We got a lot to accomplish, and let's get to it. That's all.